This is my John Deere 928E snowblower. It was purchased in 2010. This uh, winter, it, this was not working very well. The, the drive was uh, sporadic. Uh, it would run for about two feet and then lock up. I'd have to change directions and back up a little bit and go forward and then it would lock up again. So the uh, friction uh, wheel has uh, not working properly. So I'm going to exchange that and put in a new friction wheel. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the gas from the gas tank. Using a half inch wrench, remove the uh, gear shift lever linkage so you can remove that in the bottom here. Set this to the side. I've now turned the snowblower up on end so I can have access to the drive mechanism. And now I'll remove the two 3 8 bolts on the bottom panel and then remove the bottom panel. All right, now that we have the drive uh, cover panel removed, we can see some uh, issues here. The friction wheel is right here. You can see it's, it's kind of worn. It's got some worn uh, spots on it. And we will remove that and also clean the friction panel off. Notice here that we have a belt that's starting to wear. So while I have it apart here, I might as well replace that while we're at it. First thing I want to remove the two wheels so I can have access to the hex shaft assembly to remove the uh, friction wheel. After you remove the left wheel, you want to remove the right wheel. In order to do that, you need to remove this bolt that's holding the shaft in place. Making sure you've collected all the washers you want. Tap the shaft through and it should just pull off. Okay, using a half inch socket, I'm going to remove the two bolts that are holding the hex shaft bearing in place inside. I'll then remove the two half inch bolts from the other side of the hex shaft that's holding the bearing in place. I shouldn't be, should be able to pull the bearing out, side bearing, watching for any washers that drop. Make sure you may want to take a photograph of how this connects to the gear shift so that when it goes back together you can properly align it. With the bearing out now, I should be able to manipulate it out of the sprocket out of the chain and drop the gauge out. And there it is. There is our friction wheel. And we'll uh, take that over the vise and I'll take this off and then replace it. And I'll clean up the wheels, grease things up, and put it back together. Now that I have that apart, I can see that the uh, friction plate is very dirty, has a lot of remnants from the uh, the old friction wheel. It's very dirty. I'm going to clean that off real good and dry it out real good. I'm going to use some brake cleaner as a solvent to uh, clean it off, dry it down real good, get all that old uh, worn uh, uh, remnants off of the uh, friction wheel before I put it back together. As you can see it's much cleaner now. Got all that uh, old rubber off of it from the old uh, friction wheel. Uh, before I put it back together, I'm going to take a clean paper towel and set it in here on top of it so that any grease or anything doesn't fall on it while I start to reassemble it. I've installed the new uh, friction wheel onto the hex shaft 
I'm going to start reassembling it. As I noticed uh, when I did the disassembly of the uh, snowblower, the bearing bushing on the sides for the main axle were pretty bad shape. So I bought some new ones off of Amazon to replace them. Same thing with the uh, hex axle uh, friction wheel brackets or the bearing slash um, bushings. They were worn so while I have it apart I purchased two new uh, bearings to install. So I'll put it all back together. Once I complete the assembly I'm also going to put some uh, lithium grease onto the uh, chains to make sure they're well lubricated. All right, we've put it back together now. We've got a clean friction plate. We've got a brand new uh, friction wheel. I've lubricated the both chains with uh, lithium grease, replaced it bearings on both sides of the main axles and bearing bushings on both sides of the hex shaft for the friction plate. So now I'm just going to put it back together. Put the access plate back on and then we'll uh, gas it up and give it a test drive. During this repair, I replaced the friction wheel, two axle bearings, and two retainer bushings. I've listed the part numbers here. These are Murray part numbers, and I purchased them through Amazon. You can purchase them from your local dealer if you decide to do so. Hopefully, this is helpful. Thanks for watching.